All right. Are we good? What's up, everybody? Nicholas Berlin here. Wait a second. That's not my intro. <laughs> I want that to be my intro. What's up? Is your finger in front of the camera? Wait, you said no pants, right? Yeah, no pants. Can we start over? So this is how I should be talking? You want to have my, my hands in frame? All right, you ready? Yeah. What's up everybody, Nicholas Berlin here. Welcome back to my channel. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. And this is not the end of my video, it's the beginning. So stay tuned. I'm gonna talk about the hypocrisy of being green. If you can't tell, I'm outside, I'm in the sun, I'm feeling so much better than I was in the last video. Thank you for sticking with me. I'm sorry that the content that I've been putting out recently has not been up to the standards that I would like it to be at, but I've just been feeling awful and I hope I'm on the mend now. I think I've said this before, but I hope I'm on the mend. So why do I say it's hypocritical to be green? Well, because no one's perfect. I drive a gas powered vehicle. I work in the construction industry, but I'm still a Green Party supporter. And that's because you don't have to be perfect to be green. Being green is about recognizing that there are things in the world that need to change in order for us to continue living in a sustainable fashion because we're not continue living, we don't live in a sustainable fashion. So we need to make changes to ensure that we are sustainable moving forward. That's what being green is all about. You could be a cold rolling redneck and still be a Green Party supporter if you recognize that there's change that needs to happen. Now, that would be the utmost hypocrisy. However, I would prefer to see people with Green Party stickers on the back of their huge trucks than people try to police what it means to be green because you don't have to be perfect to be green. At the same time, even though there's a certain hypocrisy to being green, there's also this idea that greens are somehow conservatives that recycle. When you look at Green Party policy, at least here in British Columbia, you'll see that the Green Party is far more progressive than the BC NDP or the BC Liberals. If you look at policy, if you look at track record, whatever metric you're using, the Greens are the most progressive party in British Columbia right now, especially with Sonia Fersenau as the leader. That's why I'm a Green Party supporter. That's not to say that I'm perfect, I'm certainly not, and it's not to say that the party's perfect either. I wouldn't be involved in the party if I thought they were perfect. I would just vote for them and carry on my day. So why am I green? I'm green because, like I said, we are the most progressive party in the province. We are also about making change to ensure that every generation has the ability to live a fulfilling lifestyle the way that we did. We did. I'm still living. <laughs> That wasn't the right thing to say, was it? <laughs> what are we looking at? <laughs> it's a rock. We're looking at a rock? <laughs> Why are we looking at a rock? That's cool. Oh, okay, I'm getting distracted. What Talk do I... about the rocks. Talk about the rock? Talk about how green they are. Um, did you know that we won't have rocks anymore if you don't vote for the Green Party? <laughs> No, but we won't have a sustainable future. Our kids are not going to enjoy the lives that they're living unless we take climate change seriously. And also, it's not all about climate change. It's about making sure that we have policies and parties that are thinking broadly about every aspect of the world instead of just focused on getting elected. That's what so many parties do. You look at the BC NDP right now, the progressive base within the NDP is for lack of a better term, pissed off with their party because their party is doing everything that they apparently stand against. They're awful on the environment, but they claim that they're environmental champions. They're awful on human rights and they claim that they're champions of human rights. So it's important that we have parties that are not going to make promises and then do something completely different when they get elected. That's what I'm hoping the Green Party is going to be because the BC Liberals and the BC NDP have had their chance and they failed over and over again. It's time for a change. So let's have a change. Let's vote for a Green Party. Let's vote for the most progressive party in the province. Let's make sure that we're bringing in politicians who care about the future of the province because it's not just about parties either. This is about MLAs. MLAs that are part of parties are not the problem if they're willing to vote against their party, but they're part of the problem if they're going to let the party whip their votes. Because when it came to Site C or LNG, 
things that a lot of people within the NDP opposed when the NDP said that they supported it, all of those MLAs that apparently opposed these things voted for them. That's because of whipped votes and that's something else that the Green Party doesn't do. So that's another reason that I support them. I don't want this to make this a long-winded video. <laughs> I'm already making it a long-winded video. I don't want to make this a long-winded video about why you should vote green. I just want to talk about the hypocrisy of being green because I think a lot of people are scared to join the party for fear of judgment. I think people are worried that they're not green enough and I am not the greenest of people. I had those concerns coming into the party. Did you just put your hand in front of the camera? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Carrying on. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I need a new camera person. This is what you get when you don't pay for a camera person. You just get your friend to do it. <laughs> Sorry, person whose name I'm not going to use. <laughs> Where was I? I myself thought that I couldn't join the Green Party because I wasn't green enough. I was worried about that hypocrisy. The reality is that every single person in the party is a hypocrite and that's okay. If you're focused on trying to make positive change, you're doing the right thing and that's all that you need to know. Don't support the lesser of two evils because you think that not doing that would make you a hypocrite. Supporting the lesser of two evils is not gonna create positive change in any way. So be a hypocrite, be a green, and I hope that this video doesn't get taken out of context. <laughs> Or that clip doesn't get taken out of context. Oh, 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 oh. Can you give me some B-roll? Hi. <laughs> Wait, what did you want me to do? <laughs> do like angles with my face, kind of like looking out to sea. So like start there, move down, up, around. Alright. If you like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more content like this, please click the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. And until next time, have a great day.